Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your March monthly reading. This is, usually my readings are love readings, but the last few monthlies that I've done for the other signs have not been too lovely. So we will concentrate on whatever comes up and go from there. Now I want to remind you that this reading is for believers. This reading is for people who are struggling in some way, in some area of their life. This reading is not going to be for every single person that watches it. It's going to be for who it's meant to be for, okay? So just take what resonates and leave the rest. The love readings will be the weekly readings, so stay tuned for those. This is for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, however you want it. You know, many of you are needing to dig deep, to go within, and you're not. This is telling me that you really need to follow your intuition. You need to be a believer, okay? This right here is, is the high priestess reverse. When this comes out, it's a maybe there's some kind of secret that someone is keeping, or there's an inner knowing that is being ignored, along with this eight of wands next to it. Somebody is blocking. Maybe you're blocking a feeling. Maybe you're blocking your knowing. Maybe you're blocking your intuition. Maybe you're just pushing down what what you're feeling because you don't want to acknowledge the truth of it. That could certainly be the case. Okay, so it looks like many of you are you could you could be beginning to realize the truth. You might be at the beginning of a new journey and beginning to realize that. You can't ignore something. You can't block out something forever. What are you trying to block out, Capricorn? Hmm? Could it be love? Could it be a person? Could it be somebody who is very beautiful? This is this is a beauty, love, um, kindness, compassion. This right here is unconditional love, and it looks like maybe you're tr you're starting to realize the truth regarding this could be you or another person regarding unconditional love something that does definitely have to do with love you know there's a new chapter that wants to start but i feel like you are reluctant you're reluctant to give somebody a chance perhaps you know i think you're being called to shed the past to shed the past ways and to open up it's, it's a time of awakening it's a time of uh truth coming out and this truth has to do with unconditional love. And I think that many of you have been blocking it. You've been blocking love in some area. Trying to not let this uh, new path unfold. And that's what it looks like to me. It looks like you've, you've, you're have you've reluctant to release your old ways. Or reluctant to let somebody into your life. That could certainly be the case. Maybe you're reluctant to let somebody into your heart. Yeah, it looks like you're really concentrated on your job. You're concentrated on your work right now. You may be, yeah, that you're very, very concentrated on building, building your financial empire, okay? And it feels as though you're not quite ready for a new beginning, although you're being offered it. I think that you probably have a change of course in front of you, but you're you're trying to block it. You're trying to block out what your intuition is telling you to do because you want to, I can't focus on that right now. I need to focus on everything but, you know? I think that you have this offer. Perhaps This is the most beautiful woman in the deck. It is. I mean, she is the empress. The empress is very beautiful, kind, loving, um, very open-hearted, somebody that is, and this is, could be a man or a woman if you're a woman watching this, or it could be you that has a lot to offer. Love, most importantly. And I think that you are trying to block it out. You're trying to block love in some way. And I feel like you are being called to give it a chance, to just give it a chance. And, you know, you're you're afraid. You're afraid of what may come if you do give it a chance. Will this end up in court? Will this end up with legal issues? Will this, um, is this really the right thing to do? I think that you have this heaviness inside of you regarding making a decision. Should I really go down this new path? Should I follow this destiny? Or should I continue to block it? I think that you have a huge decision on your hands and you don't know what to do. Let me zoom this in and then we will keep going. I 
I think there is a new beginning being presented to you and you are too worried about um, honesty. You're too worried about doing the right thing. You know, is it, am I doing the right thing? If I, if I give this person a chance, is, will it be the right thing? What if this, they end up uh, stealing from me? Something like that. You know, there's a dishonesty here. There's a huge weight. I think you're going back and forth you know, with this decision, what should I do? What should I do? My heart, my intuition tells me to do one thing, but my mind, my, my mind, my, um, practicality tells me I shouldn't, you know, I think that you're trying, you've worked hard for what you have obtained and you're really not willing to share it. It's like there's no there's a new path that's being offered, but you're not even considering it. Well, you are considering it. I think you're still thinking about it. You're thinking about it, thinking about it, and thinking about it. You know, you you maybe you you are becoming friends with somebody. You know, there could this could be starting out as a friendship, and you're considering where this really needs to go. You know, what should I do? I think there's a lot of consideration going on right now trying to really make the right decision and it's all about making the right decision I think this is a month of decision making what is it that I really want should I invest my time uh, should I invest my energy should I um, what will the rewards be if I invest you know and I think that that's what you're really contemplating if I invest what will the rewards be what will the implications be where will this end up I mean there's a lot of uh, back and forth you know, thoughts and decisions about making a choice. I think that you have a big choice to make. I think you've present, been presented with somebody that is very, very beautiful and you don't know what to do. And you are like, oh my God, you know, this, you might, this person may make you feel alive, you know, and they may make you feel very happy, but you're feeling like, what if I get rejected in the end? What if somebody... You know, what if something bad happens out of this? I feel like many of you have your guard up. You do. You have your guard up. You have a lot of fear. There's a lot of doubt in your head. There's a lot of doubt that, um, you know, what's what's going to happen? Your hard work has paid off. I think you've you've uh, you've been persistent. You've been resilient. You've went through a lot. You've learned a lot. You have a lot of life lessons behind your back. I feel like there is, you have a lot to offer and you're really scared of what you could lose. But I'm here to tell you that um, you're guarded. I mean, I can see that you're very guarded. You're very guarded, but you don't, you shouldn't be. I don't think that you should be as guarded as you are. It feels like you're, you're looking, you're, thinking at, at that you're very reluctant for one thing you are guarded and reluctant to start anew with someone because you're for fear of it dying anyway for fear of not making the right decision I see this reluctance oh but you know you're being called to shed the past to shed the old ways into into love I mean because this is love and this is shedding the past shedding your old ways and acting in love um, and freeing yourself from the mental conflicts that you're going through right now. You're going through some mental conflicts and I think that you're unable to take action for fear of losing, you know, fear of losing perhaps what you've earned, what you've worked for. There's, you've, you've worked hard. I see that you worked hard for all that you have and all that you have obtained and you're really scared of losing it I feel like you may be I mean you're on there's unreasonable demands here it's almost like this is a very greedy nature and I'm not I don't know if this is you or but this is very greedy this person reversed very very greedy unreasonable and conceited okay but you can free yourself from those feelings from them the needing to hold on to things that aren't love, okay? Possessions aren't love. She is. And she doesn't care about possessions. She's the earth mother. She's very motherly. She's very caring. She's represented by Taurus. 
She's very caring. She's very loving. She's very kind. She's very open. She's giving. She's compassionate. She's unconditional love and she does not care about money. Now this could be a man or a woman and maybe that's what you're being called to do. You could be called to choose love over money or possessions. But for many of you, you're probably like, hell no, I have earned all that. That right there is your mental conflict. Love or relationship. Love, relationship, or money and job. And that's where this, they, that's why the justice card is here, because you have to balance them both. You can balance them both, but you, you have to make the, the decision that you want to do that. And that's what the, that's what the decision is. This month is, is deciding, what do I want? Do I, do I want to invest in this? It feels like, you know, you are, you're just not quite willing. I don't think you're willing. I don't think you're willing to give. You're willing to give your heart. I don't think that you are willing to give your heart away. I feel like there is some, there's lack of success in the relationship arena because you are too focused on everything but, everything but a commitment. You know, a love commitment. This is a commitment. This is a, this is a commitment between two people. Okay. It's like a, it could be a wedding, could be whatever. I consider it a commitment card. I feel like there's greed in the way of a commitment and you are unwilling to budge, unwilling to bring success to a love interest because I got better things to do and it's only causing you some heartache, okay? It's causing you some heartache and I feel like you're still wounded from the past. Perhaps somebody took advantage of you in the past and you're still wounded from that. I think the old wounds are starting to mend and this person could probably help you with mending your old wounds. I feel like many of you uh, could be in denial. You're in denial of what your heart really wants and you're burying your feelings, your heart feelings in your work, in your job, in your money, in your possessions and all of that. Yeah, there you are. It, you are being called to take the practical approach, to be devoted. Okay, you are being called to start a new journey with faith and trust. This is the first card in the deck when this card comes out. It's saying that you are being offered a fresh start, a new path, and you, are, you should take it. You should take a risk because it leads to security and stability. It does. But I feel like you're so afraid to give. You are so afraid to give. Uh, you may feel, I think you may reject this offer because you feel like you can't give. I can't give. I can't give security. I can't give stability. I can't give my money. And I don't think this person is looking for your money. This person that has come into your life is not looking for your money. They're looking for your love. They're looking for a chance, and you are being called to give them a chance and take a risk. But I, I think that you may reject this chance for fear of what's to come. But, you know, it could, the thing is, is that you're not going to be happy in the end. There's lack of wish fulfillment here because deep down, there you are right here. You are right here. And right atop of that is lack of wish fulfillment. Deep down in that guarded heart, you desire love. Because this is the nine of love. You desire love. But you keep blocking it by burying your feelings and everything else but love. And building your own what did I say? Did I say legacy earlier? I said something. I can't remember. Building your own legacy. You're, you're, and I'm, I'm talking about financial legacy. Here, it's like, it, it's a time of abundance. It's a time of prosperity, and that's what you're focused on. You're not really focused on a new beginning with anybody. And this is a huge lesson that you have to learn. When the world card comes out, there's a lesson that needs to be learned, and I think that you are not going to, you're not, you're refusing to learn it. 
You can't take anything with you to the grave. Nothing. There's a lesson that needs to be learned here. There's a completion. We have lots of tens. There's completions that need it. And it's a completion of the old you. I feel like many of you are dealing with a karmic lesson that needs to be learned. Until then, you will not have wish, wish fulfillment unless your wish fulfillment is really your bank account. I feel like there's an opportunity for unconditional love to come into your life being offered to you and your fear of the wounds that you have had in the past from other people that took advantage of you are surfacing and you're scared to make it make the wrong decision so you may um, reject this offer from this beautiful person this person is the pick of the litter she is very compassionate she and this is, could be a man if you're a woman watching this the pick of the litter very compassionate loving open kind giving caring mothering nurturing does not care about money. She gets by with her looks and her way. She gets by, by with her soul. She, everybody is attracted to her in some way because of her aura, because of her way, because of the way she does some, something. She doesn't have a lot of money. She doesn't need a lot of money. She doesn't want money. So I think that you are being offered or you have the opportunity for somebody that's coming into your life. I think there is an opportunity for you in March for somebody to come into your life that you could give a chance to should you choose love over your worries, over your demands, over your guarded heart, over your money. There's a lot of fears here. Fears of losing what you have obtained. And that is a karmic lesson that needs to be learned. It's, this is an awakening, okay? This is a judgment card. This is a wake-up call. I feel like there's something that is going to be revealed from this person, could be a Taurus, that causes you to think long and hard about your future. Could be a Libra, could be... Uh, that's who I think it is. I think it's a Taurus. Could be a Libra. Um, I'm not going to go by what other readers say because I'm not them and I don't care what they think. Anyhow, um, I think that you have to release something and you're holding on to it and it's fear. You're being offered a new beginning. But your fear, your fear is holding you back. Let's get one of these, Capricorn. Fear of being taken advantage of. And that's what the fear is. But I don't think the person, I don't think the person that is offering you is planning on taking advantage of you. This person doesn't take advantage of people. This person does not take advantage of people. Choice. Choice. This is what this month is about. Choice. Ooh, interesting. Reconsider a commitment. Oh my God, this just reiterates the whole reading. You have the right to change your mind. I think that you are being offered a chance for a commitment from this I think it's a Taurus. Could be any other sign. Whatever. You take it however you want. Could be anybody. I think that you have a choice from somebody who has a beautiful intentions. Is not out for your money. And you are being called to reconsider it. So that's what I have, Capricorn. And if you don't have money, they're not out to hurt you. 
okay? You could be guarded because of the old wounds. This person is not out to hurt you. This person is very genuine, very, very genuine. Honest, loving, kind, compassionate. And that's a man or a woman, okay, when that card's an energy. This person is offering you a valid chance Anyhow, that's what I have. Talk to you later.